Are you looking for an easy and inexpensive way to add some lights to the walkway at your house? Maybe you don't want to spend the money to actually have a you know wired system put in and go through all that time and expense, but you need the lights. I believe I have your solution. So today we're going to be reviewing another product from XM Cozy. They're the same company that sent me these lights here are here on my patio. And let me just tell you, they have been amazing. So I was actually really excited to get these. So we have another amazing, sunny, beautiful day here in Middle Tennessee. And uh, so it allows me to come out here and do another review of another product that I think is gonna be awesome. So XM Cozy reached out to me after I got done with the video on the string lights and they wanted me to also review some additional lights that you can actually put down the walkway of your home. So today we are gonna be reviewing the XM Cozy Solar Pathway Lights. Now this is a set of six, which is actually gonna be perfect for my front walkway. I've already kind of measured out where I'm gonna place them and it should be pretty awesome uh, to get these set up and, and get some illumination down my walkway. Now I do have some lights that are shining up on the home, but they don't really light the, the path going up to the house. So these are gonna be perfect. So a big shout out to XM Cozy for sending me these lights. They were provided by them at no charge for my review, but they are in no way telling me what to say and how to say it. So this is my review of these lights. And I can tell you, if they're gonna be as good as the string lights, it's gonna be a great review because those string lights have been amazing. So the Christmas is only a month away. So you gotta start doing your shopping. Now, Black Friday's coming up, and I can tell you these are already on sale on Amazon but there might even be a bigger sale come Black Friday, so you wanna just kind of keep an eye on that. But I believe right now they have um, a coupon that you can get on Amazon that's gonna save you um, a pretty good amount on these lights. So everything's gonna be linked in the description, uh, so go check it out. They are affiliate links, so if you do purchase, I'll get a small commission and I greatly appreciate that. And don't forget, hit that thumbs up, and uh, I would sure appreciate that support as well. So let's get these unboxed see what's inside and then we're gonna get them put together and then we'll go out front and get them placed. Hopefully we can get enough time out in the sun that they can get a decent charge so that way tonight when the sun goes down and they come on I'll be able to go out and make another video of what they look like going down the pathway. So let's get these unboxed and see what we got inside. Now one thing I have to say that I was really impressed with is that the majority of the light fixture is metal and I'm gonna show you that here in just a moment but you know so many of these types of products are just all plastic and plastic as it sits out in the sun and you have all the elements the plastic fades, the lens becomes foggy, and they just don't look good and you end up having to replace them. So these have a glass lens, they have a metal top, only the piece around the middle that has the little bars that kind of hold the lens is plastic. And then you have the main part of the stake is aluminum as well. And then just the bottom piece that goes in the ground is plastic, because obviously that's not going to kind of corrode or rot or anything like that. So I think that's why they do that. And these couldn't be any easier, right? So. You unbox them, you put them together, you put them in the ground, the sun charges them. There's a sensor that will turn the light on automatically when the sun goes down. And then as it comes back up, then the lights will turn off and they will charge again during the day. So you can't get any simpler than that. There's no app to configure. There's no wires to run. Uh, super simple, super easy, and very inexpensive. And they are IP65 waterproof. So you don't have to worry about them being out in the rain, snow, whatever the case may be. Another cool little touch they put in is the LED bulb is kind of like an old vintage looking bulb. And you'll see what I'm talking about here in a minute, so stick around. But that kind of adds like a nice little style to it, you know? Um, I think they really did put a lot of thought into these as to the aesthetics and how they look and how they function. It definitely put a lot of thought into uh, longevity and making sure they're made of products and materials that are gonna last because that's what you want. So let's get them opened up and see what we got. So they do provide you some nice simple instructions and kind of shows you how to take the top of the um, lens off. That way you could also have changed the bulb if you need to. So as you can see, it's all very simple. You have six posts and I have six light fixtures. 
There's not a big jumbled mess of wires to deal with or any of that. So that to me is huge because, you know, so many <laughs> products come with so much wiring that it becomes a real hassle sometimes to get it all routed. Where are you going to plug it in at? You might not have a receptacle where you're at. Uh, to get your lights run so it just becomes a problem in trying to get things connected so the fact that these are solar powered to me is a huge benefit so this is the stake and they actually put the bottom piece inside the center post which is kind of cool but that is uh, aluminum this is plastic and this just slides right in the end like that and there you have it now I should be able to just push these into the ground because where I'm going to place them is actually in my planter and the soil is pretty soft and it's got a lot of loose top soil so it should be pretty easy to get these in however if not uh, what you can do is one of two things you can take just the stake and you can you know maybe put something on top like a piece of wood or something where you can hammer it into the ground. Uh, you can also do the same thing if you had it attached. Just make sure you're putting something on top of here so that you don't damage this uh, rim right there because you want to make sure and be able to fit it over the light. So let's take a look at one of these lights. So that's the fixture as a whole. You can see that's the solar panel that's on top right there. Now it does have a protective coating. So you wanna make sure that before you're done that you take that protective coating off. Otherwise uh, you're gonna uh, obstruct the uh, charging because it's probably not gonna get the proper amount of sunlight with it reflecting off that plastic. And this lens is actually a really thick glass. And again, to me, that's a huge plus because you just don't have to worry about this ever degrading, discoloring or any of that. And the lens I chose, fairly smooth. It's got some little bubbles in it. So it should have a really nice shine on the ground when it's in. The only thing that's plastic is this section here that actually holds the glass. But this top piece here is aluminum. So that's obviously going to hold well up against uh, the weather. So all you got to do is hold it with two hands, twist, and pull apart. That's it. It's so easy. And you can actually see the thickness of that glass is pretty good. So that's gonna last you a long time. And then you can see here, that's the vintage bulb I was talking about. That looks pretty nice, I like that. This right here is just a tab that you're gonna pull before you you know, put it in the ground and be done with it so that way it actually connects the battery. And this does have a little battery door, so I assume that you might be able to buy a new battery from XM Cozy if for some reason this battery were to go bad. But it's nice that they give you uh, the ability of replacing it because so if the battery ever goes bad, you're going to have a way of getting that resolved. So that's pretty nice. So I'm going to pull that tab uh, once we get up front. So let's go ahead and put this back. And so all you got to do is fit it in the slots and turn it. And there you go. Then you take your stake and you just put it there. And there you have it. I mean, my three-year-old grandson could probably put these together. It's that easy, right? And that's what you want. You want easy, and you want simple, and you want inexpensive. So let's take these around front. We're going to put them all together. We're going to stick them in the ground, and then I'll pull the tabs. And hopefully, like I say, we can get enough uh, charge on them uh, during what sunlight is left today and uh, be able to check them out tonight. So let's get to it. Okay, so this is the pathway that I want to illuminate. As you can see, I have lights here in the planter that shine up onto the home. So I have one there, I have one there, and I have one there. And they provide great light on the house, but they don't actually really illuminate this path much. So what I'm going to do is, to kind of stagger it, I'm going to place one like here in between these two lights, put one here in between these two lights and so on, and then work around the corner there. So it'll be illuminated from the step and come all the way around and come up the path. And so having six of these is awesome. Now, of course, you know, you can put out as many as you want because obviously they don't daisy chain or anything. So I'm gonna get the rest of these put together and then we're gonna get them placed and I'll be right back. Okay, well, that could not have been easier. And as you see, I've got all six put together. I mean, it literally took like, you know, five minutes. And, and that's what I love is simple and easy. Uh, you know, sometimes things just get too complicated and these are not. So 
we're going to get them staked in the ground and let them uh, hopefully charge a little bit. So I think first I'm just going to kind of set them out where I want them just to make sure that they're going to be spaced out correctly and then I'll stick them in the ground. Okay, I think that's going to work out perfect. They might not be exactly spaced perfectly, but I'm not so much worried about the distance between each light as I am just making sure the whole pathway is covered and I think this gives me that coverage. So we have this one, this one here, and then this one here. Put one right on the corner and then we'll have this one here and the last one right there by the stairs. And I think that's going to give me excellent light coverage on my walkway because this walkway is actually really dark. I don't know if you can see it. I do have a sensor up there on the drain that will turn on the porch lights and the floodlights on the corner over there when someone comes around the corner. This whole section here is like completely dark at night. You just can't see anything. I take that back. I mean you can obviously have the lights from shining on the house but the actual walkway is still pretty dark. So let's see if we can get these staked in here. Okay, so I am able to get it most of the way in, but I really want to get this all the way down. So I'm just gonna take this off and we're just gonna tap this down a little bit. Just be careful when you're doing this, don't hit too hard and then you don't wanna like break the top of that. But see that right there is perfect. There you go, that's it. It's nice, stick it in first. I'm gonna make sure it's not crooked. Push it in as far as I can, then we'll hammer it the rest of the way. Okay, so I'm going to take care of the other uh, four that go around the side of the walkway and then I will be back tonight and we will do some recording at night so you can kind of see how well it's lighting the path. I actually think it's going to be fantastic. This is going to be a perfect solution, easy, inexpensive, and uh, they look nice. I think those look really good. I like them. You can see look awesome all right so i'm gonna get finished and i'll see you later okay so here we are at night and all of the pathway lights are lit up and they look awesome spaced perfectly my wife loves it and that's most important <laughs> so i want to just show you guys what it looks like in the dark so you can see how awesome they are and you can see how they go down the pathway and there you can see the lights on the side of the house. Um, obviously, those are you know nice and bright on the side of the house. But when you don't have anything to illuminate the path, it's dark. The sidewalk is really, really dark. So I really like the way this is looking. And it adds the perfect amount of light to the pathway. So that way, as you walk up, you don't have to worry about... The sidewalk being dark, and it's just awesome. Sorry, my dog's going crazy. So, there you have it. Those are awesome. Those lights looked amazing. It's the perfect amount of light. I like the way it actually shows on the ground, and they were super easy to set up. And you know what? Right now on Amazon, there's a 30% off coupon. Black Friday's coming up. Christmas is a month away. Right now is the time for you to go buy these and use them for yourself or give them as a gift because they're awesome. Big shout out again to XM Cozy for sending these out and for sending out those RGB string lights, which you can actually watch right here. See you next video.